Well, you know, that's a nice idea, but we're not going to back up. The issue that we're arguing, what's in the best interest of ratepayers? I mean, I think you have to decide on heart and soul. Is it, is it in the best interest of ratepayers to do solar? I think so. I think we've reached the point, in fact, we're past the point, technically, that there's any reason that we have to burn all this coal. That puts the conundrum on board the power. How do they maintain the monopoly that has this as a, as a, as a term of exchange with us as ratepayers? Are they just going to say, well, we're just going to pretend we're not going to honor the contract anymore? They can't do it. So the, so the real issue here has now got to a point that the legislature needs to settle it before it ends up in, in the courts. Georgia Power, they go to the courts and they lose it. And when they lose it, then you're going to end up with it. My, my opinion is, if you go into other states, and particularly I saw this in the northeastern states, that they all set up renewable portfolio standards and put really lucrative rates, rates in. Half of Europe and a third of Asia jumped in the middle of it. Same as it was with the 30 megawatts that we put in as a PPA. It's not a dime, but that's going to stay here in Georgia. We have some, a feel that we, that we say that if you're paying it here, we want the money to stay here. That's what our system does. It doesn't allow people to come in and speculate on our energy liability. It, it keeps our own people speculating. <coughs> so anyway, but not, not to throw down PPA, but there's a real value to the time and place for it. We moved ahead from Georgia Solar. Utilities on utilities. Did I answer that question? I'm not